Some people don't like messy eating. I understand. But I'm eating this. However I may. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. And plus, I always had huge titties, so... <laughs> oh. So I'm just gonna put some sauce. Ew, I'm so excited. I'm sweating my hair is making me sweat <laughs> hi everybody welcome back to my channel today's video I'm gonna be doing a mukbang I'm eating these fresh rolls that I made um, from scratch this was my first time making them and they're a little bit messy this one behind here is like falling apart but hey I'm still gonna eat it um, and I am like my hair is a bit different today I did use like a diffuser to like you know dry my hair so it's very very body um and i'm just sweating so i'm just putting my hair to the side because i can't be bothered so <laughs> i'm eating these fresh rolls there's shrimp cucumber cilantro green onions and burma chili noodles i believe and then this is just a peanut sauce with sriracha so i'm gonna dig in because i'm so hungry this is like my um lunch <laughs> and it's very healthy so for um these rice papers individually like 35 calories and the shrimp is like 10 pieces for like 70 calories i think it was and then obviously vegetables zero zilch um the only thing that is that's probably the highest in calories is the noodles but who is a damn i'm eating and this is healthy this is my version of healthy so I'm just going to put some sauce. Ew, I'm so excited. Get ready for this first bite. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. No joke, the cilantro is like giving it like spice and everything that it needs. I'm just gonna pour the sauce like this. This is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I'm so happy. That's literally so good. I can't. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I could actually eat this every single day. Mm. You guys, somebody made like a compilation of me um, during my mukbangs and like eating and stuff because I moan or whatever. And I don't even notice that I moan. 
but like I love food so much and I can't help it I can't the hardest part is trying to peel these apart <laughs> and there's this one right here some of them have three shrimp some of them have two because I wanted to salvage them for more so today, well, as you guys know, my previous video I posted was about, you know, my weight loss and I'm trying to, I'm addressing my weight gain. Yes, I'm a big old bitch. Um, but, you know, I want to get healthier and happier again. And just to be clear with everybody, you know, I have my own way of diet or dieting or lifestyle change or, or doing things. Like, I know what works for me and my body. I know that like cutting things out completely, cutting carbs out completely will never work for me. I'm freaking Italian, so I don't see me cutting out pasta bread ever in my life. Limiting it, okay. Like one meal a day is going to be my carb, then okay. But like, nuh -uh, honey. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. And I do appreciate all you guys commenting on that video. That got a lot of views. I'm surprised. Um, <laughs> but you know, I know how to do it. I appreciate all of your support and your advice. But you guys trust me. I know how to do it. It's a matter of mindfulness and putting effort and attention to it. And plus, now that I'm home and not working, I can, I have time to exercise. I have time to plan meals, prepare meals in advance. Like, for me, it was difficult when I was, like, full-time in, in graduate school and full-time working. Like, it was hard. I would just, when I would come home from work or school, I would, like, want to eat a lot because I'm starved. So I just wasn't eating properly. And then I just got into that type of routine where I, like, starve all day and then eat, a, eat like, a huge meal after. So I feel like that probably what added to it oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. these are kind of messy to eat but they sure are good oh my hair the fluff <laughs> I have like not limited space to film. I know I'm always filming in this room, my halls, my this, my that. But like I don't have that many spaces other than like my bedroom bedroom. The kitchen. And today is my friend Perry's birthday. Happy birthday, Perry. I love Perry. He like watches all my videos. He supports me so much and it's so much fun when we're, when we're together, we go buck wild. Freaking, I miss my friends. A lot. But, my best friend Anita, she's actually coming to see me today. We're going to socially distance hang out, so I'm going to sit on my balcony. She's going to be below me. But I did. She did ask if she if I want Starbucks, and I said, "Yeah, girl, green tea frappuccino." I love green tea frappuccinos. Oh, oh! Look, this one like literally broke completely. <clears throat> so, how are you guys doing in this quarantine? I know. I know there's some areas where people like don't care anymore and they're going outside and going back to life and reality and I don't, I don't think that's smart at all. <laughs> I don't know. It's scary. I don't even want to talk about it. Classy. 
and sassy. I used to always do my hair like this in high school because diffuse having like a diffuser attachment on your blow dryer is actually really quick and I didn't have really much time to like get ready in the morning for high school because it was like 8 a.m. and I love sleeping in and I actually used to skip I, I used to skip school a lot like some students would actually go to school and then skip classes but I wouldn't even go to school at all I would just fake sick Honestly, <clears throat> I don't think it really means anything if you skip school. As long as you're completing your work and like submitting your projects or whatever and participating here and there, that's all that really matters, honestly. It's, so I think school, especially high school, is just trying to discipline you into becoming like a worker. Like a disciplined worker who follows every freaking rule. That's why I really, I was a little bit rebellious. I would say more so in, in elementary school. I was a kind of a rebellious student just because I like to, you know, laugh, have fun, make jokes, be the class clown basically in my classes. And I just thought it was funny. And I thought that it, people who took it too seriously were like dumb or whatever. But, you know, doing all that, like being a class clown and being funny and whatever, it didn't affect my grades. My grades were still really, really good. I was really smart. Still I am smart. <laughs> um, and you know, I freaking went, went off to university, got a bachelor's degree and went off and got a master's degree on top of that. So next time your teacher wants to check you and say, why can't you just Listen and, and stop being a jokester or whatever. You know, tell them to kiss your ass and you just have a personality. Unlike other students. <laughs> I honestly have so many stories from my elementary school and high school. But the thing that really sucked, like I would say probably what sucked about like elementary school for me was like gym class obviously <laughs> gym class I didn't really like but you know I love working out now so I don't know it, like I think it was more so I didn't want to work out and, and be made fun of in the class right for not being able to run or jog as fast as other students <laughs> I remember in high school me and my best friend Anita had a gym, had gym class together for grade nine, and we had to do this five k run. I don't know if I told you this story before, but we had to do this five k run, and obviously the thought of that to me was like, how am I gonna run for five kilometers when I can't even run for five hundred meters without dying and like. Tasting blood, but, but as I'm breathing, like panting, heavy, heavy. I just did not like, you know, exercise or fitness or whatever. So my best friend Anita is in the same gym class as me, and she usually sticks by my side for everything, like for sports or whatever. Like we had badminton, we're playing that, and that was good. Like I'm usually good at things like that, but like endurance things and like running or whatever. And plus, I always had huge titties, so. Running with your chat with a big chest is not really good because they bounce everywhere. Patreon.com slash Olivia's World 95. <laughs> um, fuck, my shrimp fell in. No. Hold on, I'm getting to the part of the story that's funny. Let me just take a bite. Oh, I made a mess. <laughs> This is good though. So, we had to do a 5k run and at this point our um, gym teacher actually was on maternity leave so then this like really hot guy came to fill in for her. So he was like the gym teacher, okay? And so this was during the 5k run. <coughs> so it starts whatever, whatever, all of us get in line and get, you know, 
ready to to do the run so the first like the first like 200 meters of this run as we're all jogging Anita's beside me right and then as soon as I start to get really like, winded and like not wanting to run anymore like I slow down and I almost go for a walk Anita's freaking past me she just zooms past me not even fucking concerned about her fat friend she just <laughs> she just runs past me so there I am you know struggling running I'm thinking what the hell is this even like I'm not doing this so I actually crossed over I crossed the street over to like this park and I sat there I timed it perfectly so when they actually were coming back I was intending on crossing the street and then going back into the line right and then going heading back to school to the high school my high school but that didn't work out that way because I was cross as I was crossing the street my stupid ass gym teacher saw me <laughs> oh, he saw my fat ass cross the street and he was like so rude he was like we're having a talk when we get back to school we're having a talk and I'm like I can't run I'm fat like I can't do I can't run five kilometers He's like, well, we'll have a talk when we get back. Like, I, I was a sassy-ass teenager. So, I was really annoyed that he was, like, giving me shit. Like, fuck you. I'm sorry, but gym classes aren't made for every type of body. Especially for students. Like, they have to be more inclusive. Not everyone can run five kilometers, and I would literally have anxiety... Up, like I would have anxiety in grade 8 or grade 7 or grade 8 thinking oh my god grade 9 they make you run 5k I would have anxiety about that knowing that I couldn't do it and it's like it's not me making excuses it's like no I was a big girl and I could not do that anyways take a bite That was close. So he basically gave me shit, a lot of shit, back at the school. And he honestly made me cry. I remember crying, saying that I'm bigger, I can't do this 5K, I can't run. And he was kind of like an asshole and saying like I'm making excuses or whatever. But it's like, bitch, if I run from here... So down the gymnasium, I'm already out of breath. Like. <laughs> like, I just hate. I don't know what it's like now for, you know, young people in, in gym class or whatever, but. I need to have like, a, the best thing is to have like an understanding gym teacher who will like make exceptions for you but not let you not let you slack off and do nothing obviously but like make exceptions anyways and then on another 5k run i had the previous gym teacher the one the pregnant one who's i think she did the 5k run <laughs> a pregnant girl can do it but i can't it is what it is so when she when she was on the 5k run with us, I think I like cut and I went to my friend Monique's house. Monique, if you're watching this video, hey girl. Monique still watches me from time to time. I talk to her on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, you guys, at Olivia's World 95. But one time we went to her house and ate Oreo cookies during a 5k run. <laughs> That's what you get. Gym teachers. You just gotta understand your freaking students. God. I can't. Okay, this is like such a mess, so... I don't know how I should do this. Bitch. I'm just gonna have to do this. 
And now, <clears throat> I like to exercise, but I exercise on like my own terms. So I really like to like dance really hard. I've always loved to dance, but I like to dance really hard as if I'm performing. Like, <laughs> I like to uh, dance like I'm performing on a stage or whatever, like for my audience. Or even for like, drag queen shows like i pretend i'm a drag queen and i just go crazy and dance and that's honestly the best workout for me it's it it's fun it makes me sweat a lot and i can feel my heart beating so it's good cardio and then i just do like weights here and there i have two five pound weights that i just lift to you know pump up the jam mm -mm -mm. Pump up the jam, pump it up. <laughs> I love that song. I like old songs, like old 90s songs. Even 80s songs too, like I love old shit. I even like 70s disco. I like freaking old school reggae. I listen to it all. Oh shit, this is a mess. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some people don't like messy eating. I understand. But I'm eating this. However I may. <laughs> Nudes. This was delicious, you guys. And um, I didn't really count calories, but if there's five of them and they're 35 each, calories each, do the math on that. And then the vegetables are basically nothing. Shrimp is really freaking though. The only thing that's calorie is these noodles, which aren't even that bad at all. So this is a low calorie. <laughs> My tip. Low calorie, low carb, but delicious and nutritious meal. I watch mukbangs a lot. And I always notice like the food that people like to watch is like junk food, you know, like fast food. And while that's delicious and stuff, I don't really know. It doesn't make me feel good after I eat it. Like I'll have cravings, like my go-to meal. If I could like have one day of fucking cheating and eating whatever I want, first thing I'd hit up is KFC. Get their popcorn chicken. <sighs> and their gravy. Then, go to McDonald's, get a McChicken. And their fries. And their chicken nuggets. Go to Wendy's. Get a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. Maybe some chili. Maybe some... I used to really like their like broccoli, cheddar, baked potato. It's really, really good. But I don't really eat fast food. My guilty pleasure is carbs. <laughs> I could eat pasta like every single day. Every single day. Let me know in the comments down below what's your guilty pleasure? What is your go to food that you freaking love? And you can eat so much of it. And you'll never get sick of it. Mine would be pasta. It used to be sushi, but I had it recently. And I was kind of turned off by it. It doesn't do the same for me anymore. I think I overdid it. Okay, this is going to be my last bite because it's just a mess. But Oh my god. I lied. I'm gonna have a bit more. If you guys like these types of videos, let me know. Obviously, I want to know if I. Mmm. Oh, that sauce is so good. Mmm. Okay.
so as you can see, I'm done. And that was really delicious. I'm so full, so satisfied. And I'm so glad that I filmed this video because I wanted to show you how easy it is to make these. And yes, they're not perfect. They're a little bit sloppy. But I'm going to actually probably make them again and put different, like, things inside them. The cilantro and the green onion were really good because it gives you, like, a spice. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below what your go-to fast food is. Or not even fast food, what your guilty pleasure food is. Whether it's, like, donuts or, um fried chicken or whatever it is let me know down in the comments below we can share our foodie endeavors down below and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at olivia's world 95 and also if you want to join my patreon it's only ten dollars a month for pic uh, pictures and it's fifteen dollars a month for pictures and videos full access honey and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys have a great rest of your day and Check your teeth. <laughs> Bye. Check it. Oh, I just dropped my neck. Okay.